What it do, homies? We are here with some new CJ to champ. This time we're checking out Azula, a journey into his sanity. Insanity is an understatement. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. So this man ain't had to resort to the last resort and go into the avatar. Oh, don't spoil it for me. Can't spoil it. Here we go. New series. Oh, bro, I was sitting here tripping. I was like, what? I was like, new series, what? I mean, maybe he's going to start talking about ins in insanity characters or insane characters instead of focusing on like Black Air Force activity. There goes CJ, bro, pay you the next wave. Uh, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to the asylum. Now, I know this is a change of scenery, and I know damn well some of y'all niggas is probably like, um, CJ, what the f is going on? And it's simple, really. Unlike the round table where we deal with the most menacing foes, over here in the asylum, we deal with some cool, cool ca -ca ass niggas. Niggas that got some screws loose in their head. For an example, we got this weird nigga that be fing with hands, a plethora of psycho bitches, literal plethora. clowns in basically the entirety of Gotham City, and a motherless psycho princess that is off a perk. Yeah, Ooh. honestly, the entire, like literally, uh, Arkham Asylum, yeah, 100% insane every single one of them in there. So literally a plethora. Oh, we gonna have some fun with this series. This is promising. Who we will be focusing on today. Patient 001, Azula. Now let me quickly explain how this is going to work. Unlike <laughs> round table trials where we have exhibits, in the asylum, we will be using our handy dandy sanity meter. And it's very simple to understand. The crazier that nigga gets, the higher the level. It's basically just like a GTA wanted level. I'm gonna tell you something, bro. CJ is like, planetary level a planetary level of creator right because this is innovative in the world where everybody's kind of doing a black air force activity type of videos and stuff and they put their own spin on it you know what i mean he comes out with something else this is innovative this is how you this is how you this is how you kind of stay on not necessarily like stay on top but this is how you keep challenging yourself i like this i like this and with that out the way commence rehabilitation so as we know, this man Ozai sent his war machine of a daughter to first go after Zuko and Iro. This man Ozai basically said, Azula, your uncle is a bitch, and so is your Scarface bitch ass bitch of a brother. Find they sorry asses. So she began her first goose chase of many out here going to find Zuko and Iro. And just look at this, bruh. This is how you could tell the early signs that she was crazy. She got these poor souls carrying her ass. Now no, you saw these royalty and shit. But that's bitch, that you can stuff walk. Right there. You out here breaking these poor niggas' backs. <laughs> I know they hate their job. And then she gets out and immediately starts threatening her own guard. Had these grown ass men shaking. She was like, okay, first of all, thank you everybody for coming on this forceful manhunt with me of my uncle and my brother. But um, if you fell me, I will burn your corpse and throw you overboard so your family doesn't get your fucking body for your fucking funeral. <laughs> this mess. And she started threatening the captain of the ship. Bro said, I'm sorry, princess, but I don't think the tides is gonna let us get in by nightfall. But then she told this nigga, well, um, that's your problem, because if you don't get this ship in by nightfall, I'm throwing your ass overboard, and you could complain about the tides when you're fucking drowning. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh. Now, see, what was going on is when you on them long trips and everything, yo, anybody would go insane. Them boat rides, man, I ain't never been on a cruise. I've been on, like, a little speedboat kind of-ish, you know, speed. My first time on the, on the water was in 2017, and it's fun and all, but you on there for hours, days, months. Oh, yo, drive anybody insanity. And then we talk about Azula. She's already crazy. Yeah, people dying today for sure. But later on, Azula <laughs> ends up finding Zuko and Iroh. And then she started to use her S tier manipulation. She started telling this man Zuko, okay, so listen, Zuzu, daddy wants you home like now. But Zuko and Iroh was like, oh, hell no. Why the hell should we trust your ass? Especially Zuko, because he like, why the fuck will my dad want me home after he banished me? burnt off half my face and sent me in exile with this terrible ass ponytail on the back of my fucking head. Like seriously, was this a part of the banishment? Like what is this bro? Like a horse tail nigga? And to add more fuel to the fire, Azula's ass was smiled while watching her brother get his face burnt off. Yeah, she, she's definitely crazy, but on that top knot and everything, what's even more impressive how there's not even any type of hair underneath the wrap. You know what I'm saying? Like if I was to shave all my head, like my dreads, which I would never do, and wrap them up into something like that. Definitely, I'll be looking like a core. I'll be looking like Goro out here for sure. You know, light skin complexion, and everything. I just gotta 
make the face and everything. Um, but they also trimmed around it so you can't even see where it begins, right? They tuck that mug all up in that ponytail, bro. That mug tight. Like you sick ass nigga. You enjoyed that shit, didn't you? Hell no. But Azula with her A tier manipulation abilities ended up convincing them to come back with her. So they end up walking up to the ship. And of course, Azula's little rat ass is like, but my shoes. gosh, I'm so happy y'all both came. Now we can be a big happy family again. But this man Iroh was on his P's and Q's. He was like, oh no, nah, it's holding goddess in the trap. So then the idiot captain ends up saying, everybody all hands on deck. We're taking the prisoners home. Is this nigga serious? Oh well, yeah, uh, Iroh started throwing hands out here boxing the hell out of these boys. And obviously Zuko pissed off, so he ends up confronting Azula. And just look at this bro. She is outclassing the hell out of him, dodging every single hit. This is embarrassing, no Zuko. I guess that burnt left eye of yours must really be a handicap. Because my boy, you can't get nothing. Your bitch you gotta be fucked up. So then she grabs him, makes bro stumble and fall on his ass. And then she starts charging up lightning, bro. She is going for the kill shot. But that man Iroh had to grab her and redirect that shit. And hey man, you know, first time you seeing that move right there that was so cold and of course when he taught Zuko that that bro, uncle Iroh was everybody's uncle bro 100% bro the character development in this anime is and this is like one when, when I guess technically anime because isn't this American made I could still animate but animation right just for the sake tomato tomato uh this is the first one yeah, I think it's either Death Note or this one that my wife actually sat through the entire thing and watched it's hard to get her to watch anything these days so that must tell you how good this is for those of you who have not watched it kick his ungrateful niece overboard. So after she failed trying to capture Iroh and Zuko, she ended up realizing she was like, hmm, I guess it's time to get the girls back together. Wait, all that talk and she got thrown overboard? The irony. Did she get thrown overboard by Iroh? Kick his ungrateful. Pun, irony, Iroh, irony. I'm here all day. Needs overboard. So after she failed trying to capture Iroh and Zuko, she ended up realizing she was like, Hmm, I guess it's time to get the girls back together. So Azula sets out to go get her friends. And the first girl she goes and gets is Ty Lee. And she did her so dirty. She gaslit the shit out of Ty Lee, her own best friend. So obviously Ty Lee was happy to see Azula. She was like, oh my gosh, girl, I haven't seen you in so long. But Azula's old trifling ass was like, yes, yes, queen. But um, what the fuck are you doing at this circus? Queen. Um, I'm exploring myself. Hey. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, yes. Okay, uh, listen, boo-boo. I have a mission, and, uh, I need you, like, now. But, girl, I'm so happy here. I'm, like, really in tune with my Zodiac sign right now. Really, nigga? Okay, face. yeah, fuck all this. I'll leave you to it. But then before Azula leaves, she ends up saying, Oh, girl, but before I leave, I'm gonna be watching your show tonight. So break a leg. And look at her changing her face, bro. She's like, oh, hell no. So later that night, they end up having the show, and uh, yeah, this is just unexplainable. Later that night. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Ty Lee. Oh my gosh, yes, queen, you are doing great, Ty. Um, Actual dialogue. Oh, um, yes, your highness. Um, could you possibly light the net on fire? Huh? Ma'am, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that your best friend up there? Um, motherfucker, did it look like I stuttered? <laughs> Light the net on fire. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh my god, is this hoe trying to kill me? Yes. No, no, then she got the audacity to ask this man, how many animals you got? Because release all them niggas. Entertain me, bitch. <laughs> So yeah, uh, after the show, she is backstage with her. She's just complimenting her and everything. She's like, oh my gosh, that was such an exquisite show. I can't wait to see you do this all over again tomorrow. But Tylee was like, um, hell no. I'm never doing that shit again. I almost fucking died. <laughs> Bitch, I'm joining you on your mission. <laughs> Uh, after she got tightly, Sadistic. she went to go get May's old gloomy ass. And she ain't even hesitate Emo. to join. She basically Emo said, artist. oh my gosh, girl, about damn time. Get me the fuck out of this dirty ass city. And just like that, the Fire Nation city girls were in business.
but no, nah, they pull up on Aang, Katara, and Sokka to do a hostage trade with Boomy and May's little ugly ass baby from? brother. Like, what the hell is that cut, little nigga? Little bro got a goatee on his head. And they named the little baby Tom Tom. What type of stupid ass name is that? But then here come Azula's little snarky ass. She started saying, now May, why are we trading a king for a little two year old with a fucked up haircut? And she had May thinking she was like, you know what? You're right. So she ended up calling off the deal. So Aang started running to hey, get Boomy. And while he was jumping, fire. he ended up exposing his bald ass head. So she start hawking this man down. Shawty is on a mission. So she ends up kicking Boomy's big ass casket. And this man Aang had to start surfing. And wait a minute, pause. Azula out here really hitting the Itachi. She on there, I'm about to murder my whole clan timing. So she starts chasing Aang on this Sonic the Hedgehog she looking stage. She start hitting this man with the aerials. He, 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 he. She is not playing with Aang's bald ass. And then she threw a whole fire wheel at him. I, I had a question about that, right? The type of flames that Azula could produce were really pretty high level, right? Which is why they were blue. They're a higher intensity of, of fire. Um, Aang is not fully trained in the ways of airbending. Now, I be it he is pretty good. He's pretty gifted. But that seemed like some pretty basic level parrying that he did to Azula's flames. So what does that say about Azula's flames? Right? Could anybody just parry them like he did, or is air just superior? I can't remember the dom if there's a domination wheel like fire trumps over water, or water trumps over fire, fire over I don't know. It probably doesn't exist, right? Because you can always manifest the elements to, you know, ice with water, um, and then the blood bending, and then this, you know, electricity, fire, uh, uh earth and metal. But I was just wondering that, because that seemed like some basic parrying, even though those are high level flames. Man, Boomy ended up yelling Aang out, but this was just the beginning of the wild goose chase. She was on this nigga Aang dick 24-7 trying to capture his ass. Damn near rocking the Zuko head ass. Like, look at this, bro. Over the course of multiple episodes, she is chasing this man down in this big ass train. And then look at what she is riding, bro. Is that a overgrown salamander? And they was on dick for days. They follow these niggas everywhere. Look at the bags under their eyes, bruh. That's how you know that lack of sleep is kicking in. They looking like me after I finish editing a video. Dead and cooked. But nah, later on, she end up catching up to this man, Aang. In this abandoned old Western town, looking like they about to have a duel at high noon. And look at all this shit she talking. Aang asks, who are you? And she puts her hand over her eye. And she's like, can't you see the family resemblance? No. I just don't have a fat ass scar on my face because I'm not a pussy. And speak of the devil, this man Zuko comes out of nowhere. Bro said, heard you talking shit, bitch. So they about to have a whole triple threat match. So Azula strikes first and sends Zuko flying. And look at Aang's face. He's like, oh, nah, my arch rival. My Vegeta, my Sasuke just got washed in one second by his sister. See, I'm out see, this yeah, see, look at that. See, Zuko tried to parry the same flames, right? And he got pushed back, but Aang just whipped it out. It, might, it must be just a wind element. It must have more parrying abilities. I'm, I know I'm talking about this way too much. It's just very interesting because I feel like I had the same amount of thoughts when I was watching. I was just like, bro, is she, what? Bitch. But Azula was not letting this man get away. Already had this man Aang going timber. And the triple threat match was going crazy. Look at his movement. She has control of this entire fight. But look at this big brain play by Aang. Bro led her in this building with no floor. And she was balancing for her life. Ow. And Zuko's dumb ass just ran in there and fell. But nah, this man Zuko was just getting tossed, bro. <laughs> And now she had this man Aang doing Sonic and Mario wall jumps. But now nah, she had this man Aang cooler. He looked all over for Buddy. But then Katara came in and saved Aang's legacy. And after this, the whole damn cast was about to jump her. And look at her. She like, oh, wow, I am baffled. So what, y'all are Smoke just going to jump a poor, innocent little girl? Pathetic. But look at her. She acting like she about to surrender. But she said, psych, and lands a critical hit on Iroh. And she just dips. Shawty made her unk a pack in her brother traumatized. But nah, you're probably thinking, how more insane can this person get? Well, uh, <laughs> try drilling a hole into the Great Wall of China. Or bossing say, but come on, bro. It's literally the Great Wall of China. Shawty really got an oversized screwdriver and tried to drill a hole in this big ass wall. Really she is really out it. here vandalizing one of the wonders of the world. And all for what? for daddy's approval. So this man Aang had to go on a side quest to save this Random damn city game. from Azula's tyrannical drill. So Azula comes up here and just starts whooping Aang's ass again. Oh, look at this right here. He, 
She said, my mobility is elite and jumps up and hits this man with a spinning fireball That's attack. That's a Jeff Hardy wow. attack right there. So she picks up Aang and she's about to kill his bald ass. But that man's plot armor kicked in and that man turned his arm into the thing. So Azula starts running at plot this armor. man Aang, but all this shit just fuse everywhere. Okay, hold on, hold on. Is that what it actually was? actually sounded kind of crazy. Hold on. So all this chunky liquid just goes everywhere and it gave Aang. Nah, nah, nah. You see, no, nah, that was cool. That was fine. The time to do an orbital drop. Do it so now, he go DK on. slams the drill and Azula goes flying. And Azula's evil scheme for the week was over. Until she did some more crazy shit and decided to take over the entire Earth Kingdom. You what? So how Azula took over the entire Earth Kingdom should be studied. First of all, look at this S-tier espionage. Shawty's whole team took the whole Kiyoshi Warriors fit after, guess what, flashback, she snuck them hoes. Look at Tylee giving this girl hands. Gave this girl a whole five-piece combo and blew her back out. Then Azula well, finesse Suki, bodied her ass, and put her ass into a prison. Well, now we go back to the present day and poor Katara, bro. She thought this was the real Kiyoshi Warriors. But I ain't gonna lie, what happened to her right here was kind of deserved, though. Because she was really being the Karen, I ain't gonna lie. Out here trying to report <laughs> Iroh and Zuko just trying to serve tea peacefully, damn it. Let them serve their tea, nigga! I'm sorry. But anyways, Katara got you. They were happy, too. So after this, Azula ends up taking over the entire Dai Li because of Long Fang's old treacherous, traitorous ass out here trying to stage a coup. Oh, you Shang Tsung looking but anyways, bro, She ended up taking over the entire Earth Kingdom Black Ops and had these niggas snatching up every single Earth Kingdom general. The Dai Li was sneaking the hell out of these boys. She ends up capturing Zuko after she sent some fake ass note saying the Earth King wanted to try their tea. And then she takes the Earth King himself bruh. hostage. Like, bruh. It can't get cleaner than that. This is goddamn elite you. espionage. That's why they nah, this man Long Fang thought he was him. After they finished the coup, this man said, all right, boys, arrest her. But they was like, nah, nigga, you pussy. We following Big Azula in this hoe. And then she looked at this man like, oh my Big God, Pancho. you really thought that you was him? Yeah, shut the fuck up, get on your knees and start glazing me, bitch. I apologize for my outburst. You are not him. And just like that, Bossing Say was hers. But nah, she was not done yet. But she was about to commit probably her most notorious act. So leading up to this, as we know, Azula manipulated the hell out of Zuko's dumbass to get him to join her after having a whole sentimental conversation with Katara and his uncle saying, don't do it, nigga. But nah, while Azula's getting tag teamed by Aang and Katara, this man Zuko came into the fight and he thought about it for a second. But he was like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna join my crazy ass sister. So he starts blasting at Aang and I ain't gonna lie, this fight was brutal. The Azula and Zuko duo was cooking. First off, Aang got fucked up. Azula bull rushed this man and yeah, sent no Aang flying to God knows where and Katara just got jumped. Like they whooped her ass like it was no tomorrow. So now it looked bad. The Dai Li was here to add on to the jumping. The Azula and Zuko duo was cooking like Shaq and Kobe. So this man Aang had to resort to the last resort and go to the Avatar state. So while everybody's just looking at this bald ass kid glowing and floating in the air, Azula fries this nigga. And you know what? I give her, I give her huge props for that. 100% huge props for that because why would you let your, why would you let the all power up, bro? You seeing some mystical stuff, bro. The heaven feathers coming down from the sky. The theme music starts playing. All of a sudden you start trembling. What am I going to do? Sit there and awestruck? Nah, bro. We out here trying to capture you. We trying to, we trying to unalive you and that bald head of yours, bro. Take a lightning strike. It's super effective. And you want to know why? Because he was flying. I'm here all day. Thought he said, fuck your transformation ass sequence. This ain't no anime, nigga. It may be inspired by it, but I don't play by those rules, yeah. bitch. And she put this man Aang in a pack. <laughs> had this little nigga in a coma. When the nigga woke up, he had hair. Treat me like what's easy. So after Azula packed up Aang and took over the entirety of Ba Sing Se, she ends Why up going to bald? tell Ozai that Zuko killed the Avatar. But he know damn well Aang ain't dead because the series ain't in yet. That's how you know the main character ain't dead. Well, until Korra. But anyways, Zuko busts up in her room trying to interrogate her and shit, asking why. I feel the life of me cannot finish Korra. I get to like season two and then I just lose all interest. It just lost its magic. But it is its own thing, right? I just kind of got, I just, it's difficult, but I do want to finish it. 
how'd you do it? And she like, oh my God. Okay, first of all, Zuko, you're ruining my fucking beauty sleep. And second, you should be happy because daddy fucking hated you. You should be lucky he's not burning off the other half of your face. Really, nigga? Now go ahead and pack your bags because you're going on a girl's trip to Miami. Oh, hell no, man. The next day. Now, why the hell did she have to do that? Like, honest question. You know how hard it is to make a sandcastle? Well, nah, but during this entire beach episode, you end up figuring out that Azula's social skills are terrible. And I blame this on her parents. This whole trip, she was just set up for failure. First of all, you know every single simp on this damn beach is gonna be trying to get with Ty Lee. Second, May and Zuko a whole damn couple. So you know damn well they're gonna be off somewhere nah, just cuddling salty. up and shit. So you already third willing. But to make it worse, your social skills are terrible because all you know is war. Perfect example. Look at this volleyball game right here. She is out here analyzing a pickup beach volleyball game. She's saying, okay guys, I watch Haikyuu, so I know how to play volleyball. See that girl dribbling the ball over there? I bet you she had a childhood injury. Target her the whole game. And this whole game was over. They was out here looking like the 2016, 2017 Warriors. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Look at this last spike. Boom! <laughs> So after she destroyed the entire volleyball court, she yapping at them like she in an old school MW2 lobby. Get the fuck off of my court, you lame ass trash ass niggas. You should feel fucking humiliated because how trash you are. Uh, I just saw the game, bitch ass nigga. Uh, okay, ladies, that was music, music to my ears, music to my ears. Apparently, the newer Modern Warfare, I heard that the lobby's returned. I've seen a couple of videos on uh, Twitter or X, if you want to call it, and it seemed like it returned. Although, um, I think you can get banned now like your your chat or something like that i'm not sure fun but no it got worse than this they ended up going to this party and azula's riz is absolutely terrible bro just listen to this shit bro she just a sharp outfit chan careful you could puncture the hull of an empire class fire nation battleship thousands to drown at sea because it's so sharp what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm sorry. Don't don't but no, this whole party was terrible. Ty Lee ended up getting trapped in the corner by like five niggas. And you know damn well what they trying to do. They trying to run the Polar Express on her ass. She had to make her ass Extra immediately. Express. And Azula was down bad this whole party. She got her asking Ty Lee, why won't guys talk to me? Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't help that your wrist is terrible, Azula, but um, you should try not looking like a total bitch all the time. But no, Azula ends up finally talking to this one dude. And bro. Oh my god, this is just so bad, bro. So she's trying to raise this nigga up. She like, oh my gosh, your arms are like so strong. And this nigga talking like muscle man. Oh yeah, really? My mom gave me these muscles. But no, they end up kissing each other. But then this is where everything just goes south. She was oh, like, she oh my gosh, this is so hot. You know what would make this even more hotter? You been in the fuck over getting on all fours while I'm dominating your ass. And together we will rule this earth and dominate the world and burn it all to the ground. Uh, I gotta face. go to the bathroom. I gotta take a doodle. I gotta take a doodle. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that happened. What was but that no, sound? Look at this toxic shit. They end up going back to that dude's house and they just trashed the whole place. And look at her behind him. She is enjoying his sweet tears. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get to the turning point. Now, we all know that she warned Ozai about the invasion and everything. And then she played tag with Aang and them, blah, blah, blah. We going straight to Boiling Rock. Because this is where her sanity shits the bed. So while she's fighting Zuko, Sokka, and them trying to escape the prison, Mei ends up betraying her, allowing Zuko to leave. So she ends up confronting her. She like, um, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, saving my pants, a feeling mm -hmm. that you will never know. Oh, wow, looks like- I, I feel like with all of her cunning, she should have at least thought that that was a possibility, 100%. Uh, saving my pants, a feeling that you will never know. Oh, wow, looks like Miss Gloomy got her mouth on her. Looks like I should close it. But Ty Lee ends up cheap blocking her and puts her on her ass. She is shook. But she should have saw this coming though. Cause See? their entire mm -hmm. friendship was just based off of fear. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you go back into the past, Azula was a little asshole. I mean, look at this. Azula's doing this cartwheel and she falls on her ass and she sees Ty Lee perfectly do it. You know what Azula does? Fuck your ass, bitch. Yeah, see, see, this is where Broly wanted to do the Goku when they were babies, bro. Like, bruh. Then look what she does to Mei and Zuko. She puts this apple on her head, lights the apple on bruh. fire. 
and they end up busting they ass. And she's just laughing at it. No wonder your mama thought you was a monster. And nah, bro, we go back to the present. She like, the hell with y'all dirty hoes. Y'all can ride in prison for the rest of your fucking life. And it just got worse from here. Astronomically worse to be precise. We end up figuring out later on that Azula was the one who came up with the plan to burn down the entire Earth Kingdom when Sozin's Comet comes. And when it's time for the plan to be enacted, Ozai's like, mm, you know what? Azula, you're not coming with me. So Azula was obviously work. hurt. She started questioning him. Um, excuse me? Nah, 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 nah. See, that's just how it works. That's just how it works, bro. You the foot soldier. You go down there and you deliver the results, but don't think you're going to carry on with your plan. You become too emotionally attached. It's time to get you out of here. Let the big boys take over. She should have known that she got too emotionally involved. That's what happened. I mean, it's understandable, but still. So Azula was obviously hurt. She started questioning him. Um, excuse me? It was my plan, dad. What the fuck? Stop treating me like fucking Zuka, you deadbeat. Bitch, what did you just say to me? Oh, I'm sorry. But nah, this man Ozai ends up making her Fire Lord. And now since Azula is high it's in Ozai. power it's now, she decided to become uh, high on life. Because from this point forward, she is cracked out. She is on the brink of breaking her sanity. She doesn't trust absolutely anybody anymore. After all her friends betrayed her, her dad hoeing her on her plan, and basically being neglected by her mama. She was off a perk. Look at this, bro. She got these servants touching her up, scrubbing her feet, getting her hey, nails done nice, and everything actually. ready for her coronation. She got this poor girl serving her cherries. But this poor girl was just the first victim of the banished spree. Look at this. She eating the cherries. She like... Um, bitch, what the fuck is this? The cherry pit princess? Uh -huh. And what the fuck would have happened if I swallowed that shit? Oh, you, you could have choked? Dun, 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 dun. You're correct, Captain Obvious. So you know what happens next, right? Oh, am I fired? No. You're banished. Get the hell out of my palace and get the fuck out of my country. Hell no. The hell are y'all hoes looking at? These feet ain't gonna scrub themselves. Everybody banished. Nah, it got worse than this. She banished all her dilute agents because mm -hmm. they was five minutes late to her meeting. She banished every single servant and one of the old ass ladies that was basically one of her mentors. And then this is where she was really cracked out. She out here trying to put her hair up and she started fighting with her oh. hair. She was like, all right, here. You, you want to fight me, huh? You want to square up? She cut her hair off. Look at her, bro. Oh, great heavens. She looks like she has taken every single drug on the market. She got split in, bags on the eyes. Jody looks like she has not bathed in days. And then she started having a schizophrenic episode talking to her mama in the mirror. She was like, oh, what the fuck are you doing here, bitch? Azula, didn't, didn't I, I teach, teach you to, to say, say no, no to drugs? drugs? And she's just talking to her mama. Well, talking to herself, and she just throws the brush and breaks the mirror. Oh, Lord, have mercy, bro. This is why I started this series. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the peak wait of Azula's madness. What else As he Azula's got? about to be crowned Fire Lord, Zuko pulls up to get it back in blood. After being manipulated, deceived, and mentally tortured by his sister his entire life. So Azula says, I challenge you to Agni Kai, a.k.a. Oh my God, what is that? So these two get ready to duel. Azula <laughs> is looking battle. absolutely cracked yeah, out. Yeah, she's cracked out and everything, but the visuals on this thing was beautiful. Right now. So they start bending and put on one of the greatest light shows of all time. This entire fight was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Brought a tear to my eye back in 08. But Azula was looking hella down bad this entire fight because since her mental state is literally scrambled eggs right now, she was actually getting cooked because she couldn't fight right. So Zuko ended up knocking her down and then he started provoking her. He was like, hey, where the lightning at, ho? But this was the biggest mistake he made. She said, oh, you want to see lightning, nigga? So she started charging that hoe up and said, hmm, let me shoot this at Katara. So he shoots it at her and Zuko ends up taking the shot. And that man is done, bro. Yeah. GG's. He didn't, he didn't got Katara it out. try to come over. But Azula shoots another bolt at her. And the insanity meter is already at the peak right now. But now this shit is overflowing. Her brain is scrambled. She out here moving like a cod zombie. Look at her, bro. She's just fucking around and just shooting lightning now. Katara was really out here surviving a horror movie. But she was like, nah, bro, I gotta stop her now. Or we all die. She, so she leads her crazy ass over to the gutter and freezes her right before she blows <laughs> off her head and chained her ass up and put down this crazed tyrant. And look at her, bro. This is just a breakdown. She just had to let it all out, bro. I go lie, I kind of felt bad for her. But at the same no, that, time, that was a hundred, that was a hundred IQ move right there. I'm, I'm like, lock her ass the fuck up. 
So ladies and gentlemen, as we see, hmm. the meter for patient 001 has filled to the brim. It is maxed out. And this was not the end of her shenanigans. Now I haven't read any of these Avatar comics, but I heard that Zuko oh, actually comics. put her ass in a asylum. Look at her, she in a straight jacket and everything. And apparently she was out here kidnapping kids. Hell nah. Patient 001, get comfortable. You'll be here for a minute. Because as long as I'm here, you'll be locked in to the asylum. Okay. Yeah, I'm 100% hyped for this new type of series, man. I'm sitting here trying to think. There is a couple of, I mean, he needs to get on a fate seat, the Fate Zero series, right? More specifically, any of the Jack the Rippers. Super, super crazy. But anyways, let me know who, what kind of characters y'all want to see on the asylum. See you in this video. Dave's out.